Uh, so a marine protected area is a kind of generic area. Basically, it's, it says it's a marine area that has protection. So it's a marine protected area. Some, there's many types of marine protected areas, but the one we're really focusing on in the Philippines is what we call the no-take zone. So it's really a zone, a, a, a location where people say, we're not going to fish. So all your, your lovely coral reefs, your seagrasses, your mangroves, your fish, your invertebrates are given a chance basically to breed to go and kind of hang out and as we say in, in, in the Philippines is uh, when there's no one roaming around the house you have plenty of time with the wife so the, um, that's exactly the same for the marine organisms that all the, all the, they can all get together in significant numbers they all can grow bigger and that's one of the big key things with marine protected areas the larger marine organisms are uh, incredibly more fecund they have a lot more capacity to produce eggs and juveniles than the younger um, fish. So if you can have a couple of very large groupers or a couple of very large snappers, they can produce more than you know, hundreds or thousands of smaller fish. Um, even just four or five years younger fish will produce much less eggs. So just give them time to reproduce. Everything's kind of calm. We, we manage some of the human impacts in the area and Nature will take care of itself. That's the, that's the beauty with marine protected areas. We don't have to do anything. All we have to do is stop doing everything in an area and it will naturally regenerate. So that's basically what a no-take zone is within the wider marine protected area. But of course, no-take zone on its own is not an island that is going to be invincible. You'd start, you need to look at the, the no-take zone is the start of a kind of a planning process where you start to deal with the issues around the no-take zone. Um, if you have trawls coming right up to the edge of your no-take zone, of course you're not going to have any fish. So, but by establishing a, a community rights or kind of basically a property ownership of an area, all of a sudden you get the local stakeholders much more involved in minding their business of what people are doing around their no-take zone, and that hence becomes the whole kind of um, the next kind of phase because you have communities in charge of their resources and then telling people and asking people or restricting people and activities around their no-take zones because the core problem with the world's global fisheries is that they're an open access resource we have no ownership no one kind of takes control it's one fisherman or so you say oh there's a guy dynamite fishing over here and the guy said well doesn't bother me, it's not from here, nothing to do with me. But by establishing a no-take zone, people begin to take ownership of the resource and that's when the fun begins.